Hello friends, welcome to Kalpa Creations by Ruchita. Today we are going to make ghee that is clarified butter which you can find in all the Indian homes. You can eat this with paratha, hot rice, hot chapati, any any time on anything whatever you eat in Indian houses it is must. So for making it we will take Kirkland Signature Grass-Fed Butter. This is salted butter. I got this from Costco. I have frozen this butter and taking out this lab. It is very easy, mess free to take uh, frozen butter. Today I am cooking two slabs which will fill one and half cup of mason jar friends we are going to make this key very nice textured you can see the cover is mess free let us remove another cover and uh, take out the slab so the gas temperature is low to medium heat just keep it and do your other uh, cooking or cleaning stuffs uh, in the kitchen till that time butter will melt this butter uh, gets cooked in 15 to 18 minutes most so i am not stirring it a lot here you can see this is the first stage of butter our butter is totally melted and there is some foam created on this butter you can see the texture of this foam is very soft right now but that's okay we don't have any problem with this foam we will just let it to cook more Make sure whenever you make ghee, take a big pot so that it will be easy to cook. Now as we cook, you can see the foam texture is getting changed and reduced a bit. So what happening is butter is getting cooked and getting into the ghee. Foam is reduced a lot. You can see now I will stir it a little bit otherwise that's okay this scum is there you can remove this scum or else uh, that's okay uh, I just strain it through the sieve and uh, everything comes out so I'm just checking it that uh, either it is cooked totally. Now to get the beautiful texture of ghee that is we like grainy texture of ghee. I will put some drops of normal water. Sprinkle it on the ghee. This will make ghee sizzle and we will understand that uh, ghee is ready and this water will give texture to the ghee when sizzling stops we can strain it so here i have taken one and half cup of mason jar and uh, one uh, steel strainer to strain ghee Let us pour this ghee into the jar. It's very hot. Be careful while pouring ghee. Don't let kids near you. So friends you can use this pot to boil water for gravy or making some dish so that uh, all the ghee will come out and this is the remains of after ghee 
which you can use in hot rice or put in dal or eat it with hot chapati this remain will be very very salty so make sure you add it in little bit in uh, your curries or dal it will give a very nice taste don't throw it away and here you can see the ghee is ready now i can remove little bit side uh, foam if i want i will remove little bit because there is not too much now when you are eating this ghee uh the most of the ghee will be unsalted we have used salted ghee but don't worry the ghee will be unsalted only the bottom of the ghee bottom of the jar will be little salted so that you can use it with hot rice or chapati or in gravies here you can see our ghee is ready thank you for watching let us meet in another video thank you bye bye